Thank you, Fiona. And good morning, everybody, or afternoon, evening, night, wherever people are joining from in this virtual days. Um, I am Karthik. I'm the CTO at Indaspace, like Fiona said. We make solution, we, we provide a solution that makes it extremely easy to secure your web applications and APIs. And today I'm going to be talking about an application security playbook. Uh, this is something that is gleaned, like what is a playbook? A playbook is basically a set of best practices um, that in, in our case, we've, we've actually uh, come up with after you know um, years of working, uh, working, securing web applications. So we just want to highlight, I just want to highlight some uh, some of the some of the things we've learned uh, over time, and these are the kind of things that any application should do to um, to actually uh, be secure. Uh, let's see if this works. Cool. So <clears throat> let me first talk about you know the key trends in the application and what's leading to their explosion. So one trend definitely is there's a trend uh, towards digitization. Now this is not a new trend. Uh, this has been happening for a while now, but the last two years of the pandemic have definitely accelerated this trend even more so. Um, businesses that would not probably have considered digitizing, you know, were almost forced to do it um, for survival or to service their customers effectively or what have you. So right now, any business is probably either digitizing or thinking about digitizing really soon. Um, partly because of this, again, a trend that's been happening for a while, but again, um, it's it's also feeding off this uh, of the last two years, um, more more application or more businesses digitizing. Another trend that is actually um, that that's that's helping here is cloud computing. This makes things faster. It's not just price actually. It's the ease of deployment. It's 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 how easy it is to spin up spin up services and um, and, and machines and um, all the infrastructure that goes along with actually digitizing your business has become very much easier because of cloud computing. Uh, there is price also, but that probably wasn't the primary driving factor. It's more the ease of business that that, that drove that. And the third trend around this is aggregated services and open API. Um, like there, there, there is open API for banking if you're in fintech. There's open APIs and aggregated services for so many things, right? From identity and management to live chat and everything. So this means that the business uh, can actually focus on their core business or uh, mostly the core business and use services built by somebody else to do certain things that, that, that is needed to have the business running, but it's not really their core competency. So these three things together has actually, uh, the trends are continuing. Of course, there's APS for everything. And this is actually leading to more and more um, applications being developed quickly. Um, the, for this audience, I probably won't go into what is application security. I think everybody knows what's application security. Here, the only thing that I'm going to actually focus on is, is, the, is the bullet point a little bit below, which is the concept of shared responsibility. And the reason I'm going to talk a little bit about this is that I've actually heard from some people that, hey, I'm on the cloud and they are secure, so why do I need to care? And um, that's, that's, that's true to a point, which is, that, uh, which is why public uh, cloud vendors uh, actually talk about the concept of uh, shared responsibility. AWS, in fact, has a whole um, you know, document about these, uh, this shared responsibility. So the cloud vendor is responsible for the infrastructure, which means any infrastructure level attacks and vulnerabilities, they will take care of it. So uh, if you're talking about you know, SIN flood or TCP level attacks, these are things that the cloud vendor will, uh, will happily you know, block, uh, absorb without an issue kind of stuff. But the applications hosted on the cloud um, is actually your responsibility. And uh, just like bugs in the code, uh, fixing is your responsibility, security of that of the application at the application layer is definitely the business responsibility. So this is why we need to talk about application um, security and, uh, and you know, businesses need to, need to take application securities seriously. Okay, let me, let, let, let's look at the challenges. Why is it difficult to, to, to actually secure applications? Firstly, there is many moving parts. Now, this is actually part of, the, part of the trends that we talked about earlier. 
Many moving parts is because there's multiple third party um, services and APIs that you may be integrating with. Um, even if you're not, even if you're building everything in-house or a vast portion of your, uh, of your uh, components in-house, there will be multiple ser services, multiple microservices and components potentially by different teams and definitely with different deployment timelines and uh, development cycles. So it is complex, you know, most likely you're using more than one technology within your, uh, within your application. So this is uh, this is this is definitely what makes it more complicated here. Uh, the other uh, another uh, factor here is that security is a speciality. It's not you might have a top notch engineering team, but that doesn't mean that they're security experts. It's not it's not uh, it's not just smart engineers. Security is a speciality, and the of course well we know well well people can be trained and uh, people can learn this stuff. The problem for most organizations that are not already, you know, well, uh, already have a big security uh, team is that um, there's not a lot of time to train, um, uh, train security experts. The attacks are not happening six months from now and a year from now. The attacks are happening now. You need to be already on your toes to block it now. And the threat is real. This is not, we're not talking about, uh, you know, uh, that, oh, you know, I'm too small. Why would they come after me? Or I work in this particular type of business. You know, I'm not really a target for attack. I'm not a bank. It doesn't work like that. Almost anything, any application that is um, on the internet will, will and is a target, will be or is a target uh, for attacks. We did this exercise some time back, I think, um, where, you know, we put an application up and it is minutes before it's attacked. Things are discovered, they're bots discovering and attacking very, very quickly. And the last thing is that, uh, you know, DDoS uh, is also a very, very, uh, we, we see this attack a lot. And in many cases, it's, it's also, uh, you know, uh, kind of for money, you know, there's obviously nation states and other things which, which go after uh, certain, uh, certain sites. But it's also for money, which is uh, more or less like, uh, you know, a blackmail or a ransom, which is that, you know, either you pay us or else we're going to launch an attack and bring down and make your site unavailable just before a key date or something like that. So these, these is, this is what we're seeing happening in application security and why it is, uh, you know, a little challenging for people to, or for businesses to actually uh, uh, this thing, you know, secure it. All right, so let me give you a very, very high level playbook um, from what we see of, of how things are happening. Um, so number one thing is, you know, first of all, you know, take control of what, what you can do. And what you can do is know your applications. List down your applications, all your public facing applications. List down the components they're using, the services they're using, whether internal or external. Just this exercise provides a lot of value and you'll, you'll, you will realize things that, hey, you know, like what about this API, who's securing it and things like that. So this is a very key part. It sounds simple, but this is, this is, a, this is a definite first step towards doing it. Like this is discovery, know what you have. Once you know what you have, the next step is to do a security assessment on it. You need to find out okay, I know these are applications and these are the services and APIs that I'm, that I'm exposing. Where is my risk within these applications? And how do I protect against it? So these, this, is, this, is, this is part of it that, that you have to do the very next step, right? Which is that figure out where your risk is, figure out uh, you know, where to prioritize your protection or, or mitigating controls and things like that. Now, again, uh, talking about security and expertise, this is where you will partner with security vendors um, or system integrators and, uh, and people like that. But what we want to look, uh, look at is, is vendors that provide a managed service or provide some management to what they sell you, as opposed to just giving you a tool and then, um, yeah, uh, and then you know, supporting the tool. That is, if you find the thing that, hey, I don't know how to run it, they'll tell you how to run it but the security decisions and discussions and uh, understanding is all your own. This is not gonna work out as well. Just giving you a list of vulnerabilities, just telling you, hey, you can turn on whatever protection you want. We don't believe that's a great, uh, uh, great, great, great strategy, once again, because of the sec uh, security expertise question. 
So partner with vendors who, who, who can give you a, who can manage your vulnerabilities and your protection as well. Uh, these things are talking about tools and, uh, and solutions. But the, the next point I'm talking about is more a culture. This is the transparency, right? The, what, what we've seen or what everybody's seen over the last uh, you know, years of breaches with the best of, best of, uh, intent, whatever, best of uh, care taken, there are breaches sometimes. And when that happens, what affects a business's brand value or what affects um, uh, you know, how, how, how the company does going ahead, how the customers react to it is often transparency. It's, it's, do we trust this company that they're trying to do the right thing? Have they done the right things and still things happen? And how have they, uh, now I trust them to actually fix those holes and, and, and take better care in the future. So transparency is very, very key uh, to building trust so that people realize that you're not trying to hide other breaches or other things or other vulnerabilities in, the, uh, in your application. And finally, um, what about what when the uh, you know look at continuous risk detection? This is not security assessments is not a one-time thing, and then you you build it or you know once in six month thing. It is continuous. Uh, this thing. continuous can of course mean different things. Um, you know, automated scans can run much much more frequently, and then there's a the manual pen testing, which is also necessary, but that may 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 be at a different time uh, time frame, but still periodic, and. You have to have a web application firewall, which will which will block your, uh, you know, uh, which will safeguard your applications in a mitigating control, as well as save your APIs. So these are the five things, or the five most key things we think are important to uh, to your application security uh, playbook. Okay, this is looking at the same thing, just putting it down in, in into a into a into a you know a bulleted list kind of format so that it's easy to look at what to execute and how to execute it. So just like we said, discovery. So this means getting an inventory of, of, of your own and other, other services you integrate with. Um, do the security uh, uh, assessments so you find out what is your risk posture, what is most at risk. Um, add the mitigating control with the web application firewall. And Make sure that your vendor, your OEM, provides you a proper solution. We believe solutions make more, uh, make have have a better impact or make more sense for um, for businesses than just tools or OEM uh, OE, um, uh, tools or OEM just giving you a bunch of tools, uh, even if they have a common uh, portal or something. You need you need somebody who understands security, which will look at the risk and put the appropriate mitigating control while making sure it doesn't affect your business. So, you know, this kind of balance and stuff has to be done continuously. All these have to be done, not just for your applications, it also has to be done for services, um, partners, uh, APIs that you integrate with. And given all that, the other, other big thing that, that, a, that a solution should offer is simple reporting to all the stakeholders. This actually goes a long way towards building that trust thing, you know, internal confidence, as well as if, and, you know, if, if, a breach of some sort happens, it will be a much better way of being transparent and reacting to it faster, mitigating it faster, and also explaining to, uh, to, to, uh, to customers that, hey, these are the steps we're taking before. In spite of this, this happened, and this is what we're going to do in the future. This kind of conversation will become much quicker once you have these things in place. So this reporting is also very important. Okay. So what are the desired outcomes from, from an application security you know, policy or, uh, or mindset? So of course, there's, there's, the, there, there's the obvious ones, which is, you know, I want to safeguard my application. I want to make sure that attackers do not impact my business. And yes, you will get all that, of course. That, that, is, that is part of why you're doing this. But if you look at it and put on the business hat, you know, not just the, uh, not just the security hat, there, there are higher level uh, reasons or business reasons uh, why you should do this as well. One, it enables faster digitization. Once you know you're secure, you can actually uh, uh, move faster. You can actually be more agile. Um, the, the development, deployment, the engineering team also gets more agile because they can leave security to experts 
uh, of course, you know, I'm not saying don't fix the security bugs, do that, but you have, you know, security experts looking uh, at it as well as, uh, you know, adding mitigating controls and, and protection, um, you know, at other places. So you can focus on your core business cases and solving your business use cases. This actually develops, uh, moves to an extended cohesive ecosystem. And this means not just the ecosystem of integrating with third party libraries and services. This also means that all your internal services, teams, as well as your um, you know, extended uh, ecosystem, all talk the same language in terms of security. You all understand what the risk is, how the risk is being talked about in a similar vocabulary. And that actually helps. All this means you can build delightful customer experience built on trust, built on a bedrock of security, which leads to a high business growth. So this is the actual desired outcome along the way, not just, okay, I'm preventing it from getting attacked. So, okay, here's a slide where we talk about a little plug for Aptrana, which is our, uh, our technology, which is a fully managed web application security solution. Like I said, we believe in solutions and not in just tools. And here we have a managed risk detection, managed risk protection, managed risk monitoring. And because security, um, you know, we also want to make sure the application is fast and provide speed. We also provide a CDN. So you get site acceleration as well. And um, this is the whole thing is that's why our, our main thing that we say is that this enables businesses to go digital fearlessly. I mean, people are going digital anywhere, anyway, but this allows you to go fearlessly with a smile on your face kind of stuff. And the next thing is that we do, we do have a combination of technology and human intelligence. And uh, the, uh, this, is, this is important, right? There is technology, there is, there, there is machines making decisions and, and, and fast and all the stuff. But there are times when we do need to pull in humans and a managed service has that advantage. So in fact, there's, there's an actual uh, uh, example that happened some time back, which is um, there was a customer who came to us uh, because they were under DDoS, a high level of DDoS. And they had, um, you know, actually tried two other vendors before they came to us. And as soon as they routed traffic to us, of course, we started clipping the DDoS and, and blocking the bad traffic. But the botnet um, does adjust and, you know, it was, it was adapting a little bit. So we pulled in the humans automatically. And uh, when they looked at it, they could give a targeted rule and literally cut the thing completely, you know, at its feet. So this kind of stuff and this, uh, this kind of stuff that we can do is that that's why we say we need a combination of technology and human intelligence to get the biggest amount of protection that you can. All right. So Aptrana currently already has, you know, free forever security assessment, which means two scans a week for life. Uh, if you want to try the protection, you get 14 days free trial, and that will give you the whole managed services with strong SLAs and penalties. But for the people in the OWASP who are attending this, this virtual conference, you can sign up now. And if you onboard your site, you'll get $1,000 of free credit. Uh, to see how there's a link here, you can visit our virtual booth. And we have people manning the booth who will help you with this and or any other questions you may have. And uh, yeah, please visit them, check it out, and take, take advantage of this offer. The final thing in a final summary kind of stuff, this is what we want, uh, the, again, the playbook is all about, right? Applications are crucial to the business, especially now with the digitization um, improving or increasing so much. Applications are the responsibility of the business not the infrastructure of the cloud. So security of the application, also the responsibility lies with the business. Um, remember that building trust is as important as just mitigating risk. I mean, mitigate, these are, I mean, obviously you have to mitigate risk, but also think about security solutions as building trust. And lastly, partner with best in breed solutions and don't try to do everything yourself. Security is a specialist thing. That's about it, I think, thank you.